All right, we're at the home of uh, Rick Reed and uh, Kitten Hole, and <coughs> excuse me, um, beautiful ranch home out here in uh, Bandera. Um, they actually uh, breed quarter horses. You can see a couple more there coming to get a drink. Um, but uh, beautiful home here, um, pretty basic, straightforward uh, layout. Um, what we're going to do basically is a full tear off. We're going to install a Colonial Roughs on siding. And we're also looking at windows. They they left, so uh, we kind of get did a real quick uh, kind of 10 15 minute rundown on what they wanted to look for. Um, but we're going to build the windows, um, basically going away from the panes and going to just basically fixed windows. Uh, bronze color is important, and really only a couple operators across the front. Everywhere else will be fixed. So that uh, window over there in that corner bedroom that'll be a casement. This next one, a bath, that'll be fixed. This one will be fixed. Uh, we got a transom above the front door there. That'll be fixed. And then these set of twins right here, those will be fixed as well. Uh, we got mirror image dormers on front and back. So that, that window up there too will be fixed as will it be on the back one. So really these are the only operators minus the kitchen. Uh, kitchen we're gonna do double hung, but everywhere else um, we will have fixed windows and uh, we just recently Rick had this uh, uh, had this all painted so we don't need to mess with uh, porch ceiling soffit um, any of this uh, any of this uh, porch railing anything it's all in real good condition It's painted within I think Rick said within the last uh, couple years so we don't need to mess with that we're just looking at sidewall uh, we're looking at fascia overlay it's a big two by eight fascia um, and then we have to tear some gutters off the front and the back. Uh, it's about 120 feet of gutter uh, remove and reinstall uh, that we'll do um, through either Chad or I guess Chris or hopefully Chad um, can come and do these. They're big commercial, you know, probably six inch gutter. So they're going to have to go back right. Um, so that's what we're kind of looking at there. Again, just a mirror image uh, kind of floor plan. A couple windows over here. Uh, obviously, we'd run up to the chimney, seal that to the chimney, and then uh, continue on with the siding. As I said, full tear-off. Uh, go back with our OSB, uh, all the underlayments of the Tyvek, all the flashing on all the windows, the C-channel flash at the foundation line. Um, and then we have a couple windows over here in the great room. Those will be fixed. And then we got some trapezoids up tops. Uh, those will be fixed as well, obviously. Uh, fascia overlay <clears throat> the roof is going to be done after us uh, i'm going to get uh, danny out here from uh, southwest to uh, to give him a quote um but basically uh until then I, I don't you know the way things go if that gets delayed or pushed back uh, the way i'm going to spec this is basically doing our fascia overlay with the eight and a quarter um and then a kind of like a t-mold or a metal flash uh to keep the you know to keep the shingles pushed out um, so that's how we're going to kind of build the, uh, build the fascia, um, coming around back. It'll be a fascia overlay all the way around. Like I said, nothing going on on the porch railings, porch ceilings or soffits. That's all going to be left alone, but we will have our hearty fascia on there. So, um, it'll look nice when it's all done. So coming around back here, just again, a straight 60 foot wall, basically. Um, we have a transom again uh, above the uh, great room doors there. That's going to be fixed. No grills. No grills anywhere. That next window right here is the kitchen window. That's going to be a double hung. Um, we have the windows up in the dormer there. That'll be fixed. And we come around. There's a door right there. We're leaving alone. And then here, this is the master back in here. So we have again a fixed window here. A transom will be fixed. And then we're going to turn these twins into a single picture window. Again, nothing. Uh, this is really cool. This looks like a porch railing up from the steps. It's actually some sliding uh, barn door type uh, fixture there where you can see the cross beams. Those completely open up uh, to provide the access down here. It's a pretty, pretty slick idea. I've never seen that before in a patio a porch enclosure. It looks, looks really nice. Um, and then coming across the side so again see this big old gutter on here and um, rick pointed out both of these are plumbed to their uh tank 
uh, that's on the, you know, kind of the entrance to the property. So you got to be very careful with these gutters. Obviously, you can see where they go into the underground plumbing here. And the one on the gutter on the system on the front is the same exact way. So we got to be very, very careful with that. Make sure we don't disrupt that. And that's why we're going to use, looks like it's kind of sealed around there in here. So I uh, got to be very careful with that system. Um, you know, uh, but you can see big old thick, almost commercial size gutter. But uh, pretty cool idea. Runs down to the the, the storage tank there, no, the, uh, uh, the supply tank down there. Uh, and then this side, this side really is where the uh, the sun hits. You can tell this is really bad. Nails popped out are just completely gone. All the boards are curling. Uh, that board right there is almost falling off. So this is what's uh, kind of prompting the whole project. There's a bracket for a dish right there that can just go away. I'm assuming this dish is staying up top. And then this conduit, uh, we need to R&R, and, &R, and then we can paint that conduit um, when we do our the rest of our paint process just to clean that up a little bit so it's not sticking out so bad. But that's pretty much what we got. Like I said, just beautiful, just gorgeous land out here. Um, the, the ranch hand or the ranch manager, his name is Tom. So they really only come to this house. Um, you know, kind of on the weekends, which is why I was out here early on a Monday before they head back into town. But Tom will pretty much be uh, our point of contact. So um, we'll get his contact info and anything we need access or questions or anything. He's going to be our direct line because he's out on the property full time. Um, so that's kind of how that'll work. But uh, again, just beautiful home. Um, there is some some minor things on the soffit and porch ceiling. I mean, super minor. So as we go around, if we can just look at that, you can see one of the H molds right here has kind of slipped down. There's a space here on the back porch where one of the molding strips is just sagged down a little bit. You can see the little brad nails just popped out. So pretty pretty easy, straightforward fix. So as we're going around, and certainly while we're up there, um, you know, we can just tap those things back and uh, and help them out there. That'd be great. Um, but that's it. Otherwise, the soffit, you know, the porch. The railings, all the banisters and all that, um, they're in really good shape. So all these uh, carriage lights are around the back. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five of them, and probably about the same number on the front, I'm guessing. We're going to uh, remove and reinstall all of those. So there's no problem, no issue there. And uh, hose reel, hose bib will take care of. Uh, do a nice little box around there. Uh, we can reinstall the hose reel. Um, but all this stuff is pretty, like I said, it's pretty basic, um, but it's going to look absolutely gorgeous when it's all said and done. We're going to keep the same color, um, so that'll be obviously important as we are leaving the porch ceiling, the soffit, and the railing, porch railing. We need to make sure we match that brown that's on here now, just so there's no, uh, uh, no um, difference between the two. But uh, that's pretty much what we got. Again, pretty straightforward. Um, gorgeous house, gorgeous property. And once this Hardy gets on here, it's going to even look better. So, uh, Rick, Kitten, it was good to see you both today. And um, look forward to talking to you all very, very soon.